First blood spills. I demand more. The purification and such, and but this is it's not stopping our farming. That's the main thing here. And well, top lane there. Yeah, there we have it. That is your first blood. Bit of an underestimate there. The damage, the new damage that Jijing can get out with that. That Q, two points in it now at this stage, and it absolutely ripped to pieces this, this lane of FL. They've got to be so careful how they clump up against the Legion. Yep. Well, top, Legion is now without the Io. Jijing. Yeah, they want to try and take advantage of that. Can actually take him down. He's uh, got one point in the heel. Will it be enough already? The jump forward from Black. Jijing being brought low. He has the stick charges. Tries to run away with the bonus movement speed. The fair fire as well. Is it enough? No, it's not. Not quite enough to keep him alive there. So Faceless will find themselves their first kill on the board. Has to be very wary of Jabs closing the gap to get an Astral to set up a potential play from it's, Faceless. It's the Siege creep and maybe is going to get Greedy going for it. And here we are. Have they got the damage to bring him down? Maybe. Uh, it's going to be brought down pretty low, but the backup is there from Victoria and they can't quite finish off the SF. Victoria, we saw his saves in game one and looks like to be off to a good start here in game two, being there. Yeah, it's, it's a really smart build coming out from Ame and... I think LGD can just tell by the feel of this game. They're oh, winning the farm. And top lane immediately onto Black. They drop the rock down as well. LGD there in full force. Ice 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 is TP'd across, trying to do something about this one. Jab standing up to the fight as well. Have to be a little bit careful though, Faceless. Let's see if they are actually able to punch back and get anything out of this one. The Colin falling low, but the Shadow Word Heal is there from XZ to. Gets Astral'd up, but there's no follow up, so. LGD ideally want to get this top T1 tower, but even if they can't get it, it's they're dominating the farm so much, and they've got to be able to feel that. Like I'm sure every core is just like, I'm winning my lane. And I was, I was terrified there. Jijing runs at him and immediately purify, repel, G8. Everything to keep himself alive. And the, the jewels back up. So in this play up top, LGD could potentially find two bonuses here for Jijing if, if faces aren't careful. Yeah. It's level four overwhelming odds. That'll catch both heroes. Yes, this push onwards from LGD. Looking very hard for, for Faces to stop. Jabs is going to come back across. So spot out Victoria Jijing as the jewel. We'll see if he's able to use it. Good raises here from maybe getting massive amounts of damage out onto Faces. Then forced back Jijing, finds the jewel on the perfect target. Gets the Omni Knight. Ice 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 is down. They move in for more, taking down Jabs. Nuts, hiding himself in the trees maybe. He's searching for him with these raises. <laughs> the ball's <laughs> flying just above the nuts. But, oh... <laughs> God, no, they there's no. contact. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> they get another. I oh, mean, this is it's it's is already looking almost t multiple hey. times worse than game one here for, is, for a faceless. Yes, yeah, or force a very bad fight. I just don't see it. the ideal way to take the fight is you've got to burst that wall up, take the rock out of the picture. But to do so, you're fighting into an eclipse, into a requiem, and Ooh, Luna's about to be. And Jijing immediately jumps in, looking for the jewel onto the OD. There comes the golem as well on the back line of it all with the eclipse. Uh, OD is able to force himself away and survive. I'll turn the attention towards Ice Ice Ice. Thanks, right, we'll have a nice blast back. And Black even wants to try and go back in on this one. Close it down as so maybe, maybe revving up the old Black, taking a huge amount of damage, and he's dead. The requiem and the raise to the face, bringing down Black, punishing his over aggression there and his his hunger to get stuck back in. And end up losing not just the Ogre, but the Slark as well. And that opens up LGD to start to do damage to Faceless's base. Yeah, not, Black didn't really... It was one of those things where it's like, well, we've got to fight now or we don't fight at all. And, well, now you, you force the fight, you lose it. Suddenly you're losing Elena Rax. And dare I say it, it's GG right about now as Faceless are going to have Lunar Glaze bouncing all around their base. They'll lose Elena Rax at 20 minutes in. And the comeback potential for this lineup is almost oh, non-existent. Jijing just jumping in. Duel after duel. And it's more bonus damage in the pocket for him. Plus 34. They can and fall back. A, they did this without Roche. Yeah, that, that's the big thing. I mean, they can, yeah, there's nothing really that Facer can do to stop them getting Roches in there. I mean, 30 seconds without the OD. That's 30 seconds. Roshan's gone. Uh, Jijing in the trees, ready for the jump through, and immediately is there. On to the Keeper of the Light. There'll be a five last to try and slow down the onslaught, but it's not going to save the Cottle. Jijing getting the bonus damage. Two heroes to fall on Faceless, opening up. The potential for LGD to take a tier two and almost certainly move in for more. There'll be a buyback from the Cottle. That was nice. He went in blind there. He had, there was no radiant vision in that area. He just said, there's a high chance there's a Cottle sitting here looking to illuminate down waves. I'm just going to go in and see what's there because he knows he's got backup from an IO from a, a Warlock Rock. Just went in blind. Good play. Good calling from the team. Backing each other up. LGD have uh, got their second lane of racks now. Jab's trying to do his best to, to stop this, but maybe immediately coming forward and just the damage he's pounding out with the Diffuser Blade. Not a lot that Ice 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 can do to hold back. Yep. But the Shadow Fiend is 
is enforcing on FL. There's the butterfly. They still got it. Black. Scouting things out here with the Shadow Blade, but I mean, can he really do something? He's looking towards trying to make a jump onto Victoria. Immediately focusing down the IO, pops the Shadow Dance, tries to finish him off and will get the kill, but immediately on the back lines, the duel for Jijing is there on the jabs. They've lost the OD. Ice 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 will go for the repel. GA and TP out will make it away. Maybe even 2k gold for killing this Luna or SF because of how far ahead they are. You've got Jijing actually looking oh, towards Black and. Oh, by himself, <laughs> yeah. Why Black. not? He nearly survives with the Shadow Dance, but Victoria just relocates him with the balls and uh, he just disappears. Maybe gets off the Rec Room. Will be popped by the Sanity's Eclipse. Jijing jumping in, trying to finish off Jabs. Actually gets relocated out, and that's going to mean they can't quite finish off the kill on the OD. But he does save his own life. Victoria saying, uh, we're playing the safe game here. No throwing today, sir. Mixie's yep. dropping the rock at bottom, though. Uh, LTD just going all in here and, and faceless. Very big problem for them, but I like this smoke move. They're going out there like we're 5v4. Are we ever going to have a better chance? Probably not. Let's go now. Let's go fast. Let's see what they can find here. Black leading the way, repelled up. Army oh, coming in with a Mantis style. The Eclipse as well. Nuts just pops Ouch. there to the beams, flying down from the skies. High size size to be dropped as well. Black was able to finish off the Warlock on the back lines of it all. But Jijing setting up with the BKB, looking towards Jabs. Isn't actually going to go for that as Ame turns his attention towards Black on the slot. Black has the Shadow Dance. Ame being brought down low. Jabs is going to get dropped though. Ame suffice. Victoria turns up in time to top the Luna back up. Black's on his way back to base. But the rest of his teammates are down. Black. Can he do anything here on his own? He doesn't have the Shadow Dance. He will jump in for a couple of touches onto Arme. With the evasion and the armor he's got because of the Agi, it's all too much for Faceless. GG is called. And LGD turning up today, uh, showing us a very, very strong performance. A lot of people anticipated this team coming in at last minute to be a bit of a titan. And already in this first series, we're, we're seeing exactly why people had high hopes for them. Yeah, there's one of those teams who... It was not enough.